This video is on the Leica Nova MS50 export XML data. Okay, we've completed a small job. We've got a traverse around a building, uh, some other things that were located in the job, and uh, four scans on various sides of the building. So we're right now in our data manager, and if we wanted to take a look at what we've done, we can see that uh, you know, we've got a pretty nice little project that was going there. We could look at the other areas to see the traverse information, etc. So, uh, at this point in time, we probably want to get this uh, information out into some, uh, so that we can get it to an application. So we'll take a look at the process of exporting this project in uh, XML format to go into another application. So from the main menu, if we go to Jobs and Data, um, we've already got the working job is the current one that we were looking at. It's called Trav Park. And we can go down to here, export and copy data, then export XML data. I want to send that to the same folder as the job itself. So this will go to the DBX folder for this job in internal memory. And that job was called Trav Park. Um, on our job type, this is points, lines, areas. It's not a road, rail, or tunnel job. So we leave that setting the same. We can see we've got a Colorado North coordinate system attached. And by default, the XML file name will be trav space park.xml. We could change that if we wanted to, but there's no need to. It's always a good idea just to check your configuration quickly. And we can see here that we've got uh, um, all of the information that we want to go out. Uh, there were no GPS measurements, so it wouldn't hurt if that were checked or not checked. Also, uh, free codes, and uh, there was really no application results either. So we just want to make sure we have points, lines, areas, images, and the TPS measurements with the scan information if we had it. On our XML tab, uh, uh, this is 3D data. Uh, I'm using XML version 1.2, and I want to be sure to check the box uh, to use the hexagon XML extension. So we're good with that and at this point now all I really need to do that I've said everything above is just click OK. I can see that I've exported 49 points, uh, zero lines areas, four scans. Do I wish to export more data? And the answer to that in this case is no. If I had additional information I wanted to export then I could say yes and continue in the loop. So we're done here. So that's uh, basically the process of exporting the XML data, uh, which was done through the jobs and data feature. Let's take a look at what happened uh, and where our data went. In this case, since we're running a simulator, we're going to look into our simulator for the total station simulator, uh, the internal memory, and our DBX folder uh, to see uh, where the uh, where the data was put. When we exported, we told it to put the XML file into the job folder, and this would be the Traverse Park job folder. And we'll see here now is our XML file, and that coincides with our scans and our images folders as well, which the XML file is referring to. We've still got our standard uh, DBX uh, uh, files for the, the job itself, which contain the Traverse information. Uh, and the other information, point information, line information, whatever else there may be. So we can see that everything's contained. Uh, if I needed to uh, uh, send this job to somebody, I could send it in its entirety uh, just by zipping this and then sending them a zip file of the entire thing. But as you can see, uh, it, create, it, keep, it keeps both the internal formatted data as well as the XML that we're going to use uh, in the next step to import into uh, another application. Just to finalize the process and see that our XML data actually was created properly, uh, we'll bring the scan portion of this project into Civil 3D uh, through MultiWorks. So we're on our MultiWorks tab and we'll select Open um, MS50 Data. Uh, we wait for the uh, Cyclone service to start and for checking the licensing, this takes a second. And we get the dialog to go select our files. So I'm in the same place that I was in my simulator data structure. And if I highlight, highlight my Trav Park job, 
Uh, normally you would be getting this off of somewhere else on your hard drive or wherever, but uh, I'm just kind of working in this way. And I pick the XML file, and then I tell it what units the job was done, and then the job will be converted and imported into the project area. And once that's been completed, we just zoom and extents. And there we can see, um, you know, the same thing that we were looking at uh, much earlier in the process here in the um, um, simulator on the view display on that. And of course, we can look at that either in the, or the intensity as it came in or uh, in the true color, uh, you know, any way we want to do this. And we can start working with uh, and extracting information from our scan data. Now, of course, the remainder of the survey data would be brought in uh, through the norm normal method for survey data. As always, if you require additional information, please check on our website at leica-geosystems.com or for more detailed information in your MyWorld account at myworld.leica-geosystems.com.